the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we offer this Mass for the uh, special intentions of uh, Gloria Davis, who we ask God for his pardon and strength. Lord, you came to heal the contrite, Lord of mercy. <clears throat> you came to <clears throat> call sinners back to yourself, Christ of mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord of mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowledge inflates with pride, <coughs> but love builds up. If anyone supposes he knows something, he does not know as he ought to know. But if one loves God, one is known by him. So about the eating of meat sacrificed to idols, we know that there is no idol in the world and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there are so-called gods in heaven and on earth, there are, to be sure, many gods and many lords. Yet for us, there is one God, the Father, from whom all things are and for whom we exist. And one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all things are and through whom we exist. But not all have this knowledge. There are some who have been so used to idolatry up until now that when they eat meat sacrificed to idols, their conscience, which is weak, is defiled. Thus, through your knowledge, the weak person is brought to destruction, the brother for whom Christ died. When you sin in this way against your brothers and wounded their consciences, weak as they are, you, you are sinning against Christ. Therefore, if food causes my brother to sin, I will never eat meat again, so that I may not cause my brother to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, Lord along the everlasting way. way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You need me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fear, fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, Lord along, along the everlasting way. way. Probe me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. See if my way is crooked, and lead me in the way of old. Guide, Guide me, Lord, Lord, along the everlasting way. Alleluia. 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 If we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from whom the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even the sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back, then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> As we hear these familiar words, very powerful words from the scriptures today, uh, the portion that strikes me again is where Jesus talks about those who, you know, uh, you know, if you love those who love you, what credit is that? You know, if you give to those who are going to pay you back, uh, you're kind to those who are kind to you. In the end, what it becomes very clear is that God's standard is much higher. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, we say, you know, if you want respect, you know, if you give me respect, I respect you back. And, we base everything on what the other one does. And yet what the Lord is, you know, as Christians, it's like, you know, base everything on what Christ does. You know, if I claim Christ, I am a Christian. Christ means anointed one, and Christian means sharers in Christ's anointing. So we share, so anointed God, Christ is the anointed one of God, the anointed with the Spirit of God, who went about doing what God called to do, animated by the Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, the Holy God. As Christians, we claim to also have the same Spirit, and that we too are motivated by the Spirit of God living within us. A Spirit that is described in Romans 5 as the love of God poured forth in our hearts. So if that is the animating force, so it doesn't, so the Christian life doesn't start with assessing how does everyone else live and what are they doing and I will respond accordingly. You know, that would be so much a lower standard, it would have nothing to do with Christianity. And that's Jesus' point. You know, Jesus loved us before we repented of our sins. He loved us when we we're sinners. Uh, and, uh, so, and, and it's a good thing he did because there'll be no salvation for any of us. You know, God fortunately doesn't uh, uh, may, uh, uh, decide to, uh, his, uh, God's behavior for us based on what we do. Um, you know, there's a song you know, called, um, uh, He Looked Beyond My Fault. You know, amazing grace shall always be my song of praise, for it was grace that bought my liberty. I do not know just why he came to love me so. He looked beyond my fault and saw my need. He looked beyond my fault and saw my need. So if God did not respond accordingly. Yes, I was a sinner in fault, but he, he, he loves me, he forgives me, not because I deserve it, not because I'm necessarily forgiving others. It's, he, he does it because it's what I need. And everyone needs even our enemies in the scriptures today. You know, love your enemies. So we should know right away, once Jesus said love your enemies, 
we know that this is definitely a different standard. Uh, and love is not simply a warm, fuzzy feeling. If someone is, you know, scripture says, you know, pray for those that persecute you. Well, obviously, you know, if someone is persecuting you, uh, it's, you it's not the motivation to love them. It's not because of my warm, loving feelings toward that person who's hurting me right now. Again, clearly it's something else that's motivating us. It is a person of Jesus Christ. It is the Holy Spirit who lives within us, which makes, which, and who empowers us to live in a way that looks like Christ. And so as we, uh, again, uh, continue to embrace uh, his standard, uh, Jesus makes it very clear again that when we love as he calls us to love, it is then that we look most like the children of the most high God that we are. The point is we look most like Christ, the son of God. And so uh, let us first celebrate the fact that the Lord looks beyond our fault, not loving us as we deserve, but loving us as we need. And the end of that psalm, by the way, says about that, he looked beyond my fault and saw my need. I don't know why he loved me so, but he looked beyond my fault and saw my need. So I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross, the ultimate symbol of God's love, to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous that love that caught my falling soul. He looked beyond my fault and saw my need. Let us go forth and do the same. Let us bring before the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may go forth in the power of the Spirit. Spreading the good news of God's enduring love, we pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world and in the scourge of violence and war and poverty and systemic injustice. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all our sisters and brothers lacking the basic necessities of life, like food, shelter, health care, friends and family to support them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our parish school, our faculty and staff, the children in our school and their families. Lord, may continue to bless us and we be open to all his graces and direction. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and the shut-in, those in hospitals and nursing homes, those facing surgery, those recovering from surgery, those for whom we have promised to pray, and those who need our prayers the most. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those uh, who are persecuted, uh, those who are screw up because of their relationship with Christ that they may, the Lord may continue to inspire them to live out of the power of his spirit, loving all those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have died, that they may share in the fullness of the banquet of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always hearing our prayers, those voices aloud and those in the silence of our hearts. We ask them all with confidence, for we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which have become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it shall become for us our spiritual drink. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace. Graciously grant that through this offering we may be fitting, do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mysteries, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every way to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, but just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, you, you also, also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take us all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you for this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 So let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, your mercy keep us free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter under my name. Only say the word in my soul.
Like the deer that yearned for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Let us pray. O oh Lord, grant that your faithful whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the, uh, the, the, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go now in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noon time. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down.